All right, guys, so we're going to start to take care of some of these functions and events. So if we look at the HTML, we have this um, map clicked, and we have clicked marker, we have marker drag, and these are all functions that we have to create, that we have to take care of. So let's go to app component TS, and let's go right under the constructor here, and we're going to say clicked marker. All right, and then we're going to pass in a marker, which will have the type of marker, and also an index, which will have the type of number. All right, and then we're just going to do console.log. We'll say clicked, clicked marker, and then we'll concatenate marker.name and we'll say at index and then we'll just concatenate on index all right so now if we go and reload and I click on one of these you'll see down here we get clicked marker company one at index zero so when I click on whoops I click on this one company 2 at index 1 all right so we know that that's working all right now we want to take care of the map clicked so let's do that map clicked which is going to take in an event and I'm just going to put a type of any on this and then we're gonna what we're gonna do is create a, an object called new marker. Okay, now the name is gonna be untitled. We'll put the lat, and we can get this through the event. So it's gonna be event dot chords dot lat. All right, and then same thing with the longitude. Chords dot LNG. And then draggable is going to be set to false. Okay, if you're doing it, if you're just clicking and adding a, a point, it's going to be false for the draggable. Now we need to just push this to our markers. So we'll say this dot markers dot push and then we'll just pass in um, new marker all right so let's save that and now if I click somewhere on the map it should it should add a marker so let's check let's make sure that for one that this is running so we'll say console.log map clicked. Okay, so we can see down here we're getting map clicked. This dot markers dot push. Oh, I have just LT. This should be lat. All right, so hopefully that's why it's not working okay good so now when I click it's adding the markers now it's not gonna save yet because we're not persisting it to local storage okay but I don't want to do that yet that's gonna be later on so we know that that's working that's good now we want to add the marker drag end function so let's go under map clicked and we'll say marker drag end Okay, we're going to pass in marker and also the event and let's do a console.log we'll say drag end marker and event Alright, so let's just see if that does anything. 
So if I go and grab one of these and move it, you'll see if we get an object, we get drag end, we get our object with the new longitude and lat latitude, and the draggable object. Okay, so now we want to create a, a new object here called updated marker, or UPD marker. Set that to a new object, and then we'll pass in the name, which will be marker.name. And then we want the lat. Now I want, this is going to be a string, and I want to parse it as a float. So we're going to pass it through a parse float function, and then we'll say marker.lat. All right, obviously the same thing with the longitude. All right, and then we'll set draggable to false. Okay, and then what we want to do is we're going to set two variables. This will be new lat. Oh, new lat and set it to event dot chords dot lat and then we'll do the same for the longitude now right now there's there's no real use for these but later on when we push to local storage we're gonna pass these into um, we're going to pass these into a service, which will then update local storage. All right, so that looks good for now. And in the next video, we're going to go ahead and add the form so that we can add markers through the form.